How's it going everybody? My name is Wadi and welcome back to another episode of Shadow the Tomb Raider. If you don't remember last episode, feel free to click in one of these corners. I always get it wrong. I probably should look into that, but I'm not even going to try for now. We're back in Paititi. I'm going to try to do some side missions. Lara, it's good to see you again. <laughs> you too, Uchu. How are the preparations going for Etsli's coronation? Not well, sadly. Shortly after you left Paititi, a group of hunters pulled Zan's body from the wilderness. Zan... Was he one of the men you sent out? To retrieve the champion's bow, yes. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahua. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Etsli is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point the way. Why? <laughs> Thank Why? you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's the point. If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there. What the heck is that? All right, let's get this bow back to Uchu. The final piece to herald in the future of Paititi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Nawal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Paititi. But since Amaru took power, the Nakwa has been more active. You believe Amaru commands the Nawal? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etsli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. <laughs> To the ceremony of kings! Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it so that you will enjoy equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it so that you will enjoy responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etsli, is the future. 
Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of PyTT, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Shairi, and your king! Have you come to finally kill me? I'm not with the cult. I'm a friend here to free you. That's an effective disguise. Can you use it to free the others and find Kolkwi? I hope so, but I don't know what happened to him. He's alive. Kolkwi's alive. In the confusion, I heard him shout, ordering a retreat. I'm sure he's alive. In the afterlife? Are you a spirit? No, I'm very much alive, as are you. <laughs> a mortal and an immortal. There, you're free to go. Yes, I have been liberated. Here we are, last guy. This is what we deserve for failing so miserably. Don't be so rough on yourself. You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up when we were surrounded. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. I've freed your friends, and there's more good news. Kolkwi is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He shouted a warning and ran away. That's excellent. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. I know we do. I learned who he was while you were gone, and I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. All right. Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. I'll find him. Kolki! Kolki! Kolki came while you were freeing the others. We didn't know he was a Jaguar warrior. He offered me payment. How could I refuse? You should have, Boma. Kukul Khan hates outsiders and traitors. <laughs> oh. Death to the one who defies Kukul Khan! Tulakal <laughs> You know what guys, I'm gonna end it there, thank you all for watching me. I'm gonna do a lot more of the side mission stuff off camera, and then the next episode I'll just do the uh, main mission. So that being said, thank you all for watching, see you guys in the next one, peace.